Hello, everyone. This evening, we'll be speaking to you about how to embrace humanity by connecting on a deeper level. We're going to share with you seven amazing tips that we utilize to help people create lives and communities that are more vibrant and multidimensional. But first, let me explain to you what we actually mean by multidimensional. We like to call perspectives, worldviews, or ideologies dimensions. The point here is to actually gain more dimensions into our lives through our human connection. That way we become more well-rounded and become alive, like 3D animation. The first tip is getting to know yourself better. You may need to deconstruct or analyze your beliefs and ideologies. And there is a need to analyze yourself and self-reflect in order to get in touch with your dimensions, your world, your voice. Be you, not what magazines, television, or society tells you to be. Not that superficial illusion that we all mistakenly buy into. Come on, let's not let materialism get in the way of our human connection. That way we can all embrace each other and connect at a deeper level. Because if you don't, when your ideas get challenged and conflict arises, you may become angry and frustrated and defensive, and that will only lead to fear and conflict. And all these things will only lead to ineffective communication. So we human beings are composed of energy, and that energy we can transfer to other human beings, as it is stated in physics, right? So why not transfer that positive energy to other human beings? That way we can all create light and illuminate us all. Physics also states that energy transfers or transmits quicker than information is received. And so our second tip is to approach others with positive energy. Even before you say hello, alter your energy to be more positive. So the third tip is to actually listen to understand and not to only prove your point. You see, it's not about trying to change someone else's perspective or about trying to change your perspective. It's actually about bringing more perspectives into your lives or as we like to call dimensions. The fourth, tip, the fourth tip is to reach out to people from all walks of life, no matter their age, social economic status, or culture. By doing this, you will enrich your soul, increase your wisdom, and become multidimensional. So the fifth tip is to be open, honest, and respectful to other human beings. We can't learn that which we already think we know, right? I'm sure you probably already know how to tie your shoe. But if you asked a little kid or anyone else, they probably will teach you a different way to tie your shoe. And it might, it might actually be more efficient. Have you ever said something to someone and then this happened? Well, it's important that you don't blame or attack someone when you're communicating with them because that's not a constructive way to communicate. So instead, if you disagree with something they say, give them constructive feedback. So drop the ego and the pride. That only impedes us from seeing eye to eye, and it actually builds hierarchies, and it actually impedes us from, it actually creates hierarchies and inequalities, and that's not good for us to connect at a human level. So try to um, connect and don't generalize or stereotype. The sixth step is to step out of your comfort zone. Try something new, expand your horizons. This is a local band called Strange Young Things. They don't normally dress like that. They just decided to step out of their comfort zone for one of our fundraising concerts. So go beyond your own world, because if you're only seeing your own world, then you're bound to stay stuck within your same thought process. And that can actually get a little boring, and it won't lead to any innovation or solutions to a lot of our human concerns or social issues. Let us make our humanity more interesting by learning to embrace who we are. That way we can honestly and confidently share our dimensions with others and we can all benefit and grow by becoming multidimensional. I know sometimes you always tend to fear that which we don't know. So the last and seventh tip is to actually face your fears, like I'm doing right now. Am I doing okay? <laughs> Thanks. So feel comfortable with that space and own it. It all starts with a positive energy that spark, that desire to connect with people sincerely to create positive social change. And that will be the catalyst that will ignite our future. So let that positive energy travel all across our state and let hope stay in Arizona. Did you guys actually know we had a state here in Arizona called Hope? Yes? No? Well, see, there's proof. There is, it does exist. There's a, a state, a city, I'm sorry, here in Arizona, and so I want to repeat the seven steps. First, you need to self-reflect, have a positive energy, listen to understand, reach out to people from all walks of life, being open and honest, stepping out of your comfort zone, and becoming familiar with the unknown. Now, with the positive energy that is in all of you, 
Step out of your comfort zone. Reach out to someone else in this room who seems very different from you this evening. Walk up to them, introduce yourself, and let the energies do the rest. And that's how we begin to create more vibrant, more multidimensional communities and lives today and in the present by connecting at a deeper level and embracing humanity. This is actually a local nonprofit, so check it out on Facebook. Thank you.